Hey folks, Chris Vandeviver here with the Logic Pro Expert. Today, I wanna to show you how you can create your own drum triggers or samples to use to either replace or double up your drum tracks using the new sampler that came with 10.5. Now, the sampler is a rebranded EXS24, and we certainly could have done this with the EXS24 in previous versions of Logic, but the new sampler makes it much easier and faster to achieve this drum trigger or sampling process. First, let's just take a quick listen to this drum performance here, and I've actually gone ahead created my sampler instrument using the samples that I have down here. And let's just take a quick listen to these drums with the sampler both in the mix and out. Here we go. So just a tiny bit of reinforcement. If we take a listen, it's quite punchy and a bit more hyped. And this is the original kick drum track. So it's just adding a touch of punch to these kick drums. Okay, let's examine the process of creating your own drum trigger using sampler. First, let's just create a new instance of the sampler itself. So a software instrument sampler will create. And now we've pulled up sampler and let me actually kind of squash this down a hair so we can see what's going on. And we have our drum samples here. I have louder samples and quieter samples. So let's take a quick listen here. Now I'm going ahead and process this as well with some EQ and compression. We also have quieter hits, so a little less force. Our goal is to create a round robin of samples. We don't just want one sample that's being triggered because it'll sound pretty robotic, pretty unnatural. Instead, what we want is a couple different samples. They're all generally about the same loudness, velocity, but they're slightly different in terms of tonality just because, you know, it's a human that's playing several drum hits in sequence. And with a round robin, we can create this randomized effect so it doesn't feel like the same hit over and over. It feels like what a person would actually play, slightly different hits over time. And what's so handy with the sampler is we can just grab the regions and drag it into the sampler, and I'm going to pick zone per note. Now Logic is going to bounce each of these regions in place essentially to bring into the sampler and what I love is it even includes the processing on the channel strip itself. It's part of the bounce process. And now we have three different samples. And if you press the speaker button right here, we can actually listen to each sample when we click on it. Now I'm gonna set the snap here to transient and let's bring this a little bigger now. And I'm going to set the beginning of each of these to the beginning of the transient. So let's take a listen. Perfect. Do the same thing for the other two. And the third one, and it seems like Logic has identified two separate samples. Let's get rid of this one. And we bring this back. Beautiful. Now we have three different samples, but we want these three samples to be part of a package, a round robin that randomly plays different samples just to keep things interesting and not sound robotic. It's pretty simple. We just select the three different samples here. Let me turn this off. Go to group, create round robin. And now we have a round robin group that will be randomly triggered. So let's bring down this MIDI region here to our new sampler track and we'll solo the sampler track and take a listen. The only problem is, is that this pitch button is enabled. The root key is G sharp one, but if we look in the piano roll editor here, we're on C1 and so it's being pitched down. So if we just turn off pitch for each of the samples, let's now take a listen. Cool, so we're in pretty good shape. We have three different samples that are being randomly played. It's playing at the correct pitch and we can even fine tune the sample if we need to just zooming in here and we can get as granular as we need to. So if you get close enough, you can see the individual samples. So we have sample accurate editing of our samples. So you can change the snap to zero crossing, or you can just change it to off. And look at that, it's snapping to each sample. That's so helpful. So you can get the absolute best samples that you want for your drum triggers. The last piece of the puzzle here is maybe you want different velocities for quieter hits, for louder hits. In fact, let's just select everything in the piano roll editor here and just bring it way down. 
And then we're gonna select each of these samples and set the velocity here. So maybe about 80 for each sample. And let's now play the sampler. As you can hear, the samples are not being triggered because the velocity, the bottom of the range is at 80. We've specified that these samples should be for louder hits. Okay, no problem. Let's introduce another set of samples and we'll do the exact same process. These are the quieter samples. We'll drag them in, zone per note. Logic is gonna bounce each in place. And we'll just quickly do the same process for these quieter notes. So I'll set the snap to transient. And I'll just quickly snap these to the transient. Okay, cool, we're in good shape. And for these, we'll turn off pitch and also set the velocity instead down to about 80, right? So, so our next batch of samples is gonna be five, seven, and nine. Let's select those, create a group, create a round robin. Okay, let's now hear these samples. As you can see, they're being randomly triggered by a round robin. So if I bring this back up, we're in great shape for our drum triggers. And again, you can finesse the samples exactly how you need them. You can create as many velocity layers as you need. And after that, all you have to do is save this as a new sampler instrument. And we'll just create a new folder. We'll call this drum samples, create, and I'll just call this kick sample one. Save it. And from here, we just go to the drop down, drum samples, kick sample one. And then we have our own drum sample that we can use within Logic. And to generate the MIDI notes that you need for drum samples, very easy, just either control D with the drum track selected, or go to track, replace or double drum track. Logic will analyze the audio information and it will place a MIDI note everywhere it's found a drum hit. You can select the instrument kick, at this point, hit OK. We've created our MIDI region, and then you can just go to Sampler and select your drum sample as the sampler instrument. It's so handy. I love the new samplers in Logic. It just makes sampling a breeze. And like we explored, you can create multi-layered, multi-velocity drum samplers for doubling and replacing drum tracks in your projects. I hope this was helpful for you. Once again, I'm Chris Vandeviver with the Logic Pro Expert.